This is Akashwani. The news read by Hake Ani. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of development projects worth more than 26,000 crore rupees in Jagdalpur, the divisional headquarters of Tribal Bastar Division in Chhattisgarh today. The Prime Minister also dedicated to the nation the NMDC's Greenfield Steel Plant established at Nagarnar in Bastar. Built at a cost of about 24,000 crore rupees, the integrated steel plant will produce high-quality steel. This plant and its ancillary industries will generate employment opportunities for thousands of people. During his visit to Jagdalpur, the Prime Minister also laid the foundation stone for the upgradation of Jagdalpur railway station and also dedicated to the nation the new rail line between Antagra and Taroki and the double rail line project between Jagdalpur and Dantewada. The Prime Minister also flagged off the train service between Taroki and Raipur. These projects will improve rail connectivity in this tribal area and give impetus to the economic development of the area. Besides, the Prime Minister also dedicated to the nation the new road built between Kunkuri and Chhattisgarh Jharkhand border on National Highway 45. The World Bank has decided to maintain its growth forecast for India in the fiscal year 2023-24 at 6.3%. This decision comes as India continues to exhibit strong economic growth despite facing substantial external challenges. The World Bank in its April report had cut India's growth forecast for 2023-24 to 6.3% from the earlier 6.6%. According to the World Bank's latest India Development Update, the International Financial Institution's flagship half-yearly report on the Indian economy observed that despite significant global challenges, India was one of the fastest-growing major economies in 2022-23 at 7.2%. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman today distributed 3,500 crore rupees worth of credit assistance to the beneficiaries at Coimbatore today. Speaking at the function, the minister said that the aspirational districts are prioritized for all types of government assistance. The loans were distributed under the Credit Outreach Program. The finance minister said that the government is creating awareness and is ensuring that rural farmers and entrepreneurs become aware of the subsidy and credit loans given to small entrepreneurs and businessmen. The finance minister said that 23,800 beneficiaries were given retail loans and mudra loans were distributed to 2,904 new beneficiaries. The minister informed that the Stand Up India loan has been given to 18 beneficiaries, rural youth belonging to scheduled community, scheduled tribes and women. Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman described that those having Kisan credit cards can also seek loan assistance from the government. In Bihar, incessant rainfall has triggered flash flood-like situations in several parts of Kaimur district. Seasonal rivers like Karmanasha, Durgavati and Suwara are in full spate due to continuous rainfall. Several buildings, hospitals and offices have been submerged in Babua city due to rise of water level of Suwara river. School children of DAV school and Kasturba Gandhi Awasiya Vidyalaya were rescued in emergency situation after flood waters entered the premises. India's medal hunt continues at Hangzhou Asian Games 2023. India backed another bronze on day 10, taking its overall tally to 62 medals, 13 gold, 24 silver and 25 bronze. The country currently stands at the fourth position on the scoreboard. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated Indian players for their outstanding performance at the Asian Games. In a series of uh, social media posts today, PM congratulated Preeti Lamba for securing the bronze medal in the women's 3000 meter steeplechase event. He also congratulated the men's team for winning silver medal in 4 by 400 meter mixed relay event. In boxing, Preeti lost her semi-final against Chang Yuan of China in the 54 kg weight category to win the bronze medal. Lovelina Borgohai advanced into the final of the women's boxing 75 kg event by beating Thailand's Bison Manikon in the semi-final. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.